the last few weeks, several viral videos have spread across social media showing teens from around the city of Rochester engaged in violence. Well, tonight, the group Teen Empowerment answered that by hosting a Roll in Peace skate party. Selena Lewis explains how for the hundreds of teenagers who took part in the party, it was a rare chance to escape violence and the stress that it causes. <laughs> I'm in a good mood right now. I see everybody out there having fun. There's no drama. Sounds like a normal thing for any teenager to say at a party, but for Alexis Clark, whose 17-year-old brother was shot on Genesee Street, and for her peers with similar experiences, it means so much more. Take Tyzer Holland, whose cousin was killed when he was young, and then one of his friends was killed outside the Boys and Girls Club during that shooting. Since I've seen you so much, it's like now I'm quiet. Like, I'm quiet, I gotta watch my surroundings. You gotta feel when, like, there's tension in the room or something like that. So you can know when to get out of here. Because if you don't, that could be it. Tyzer said he just got out of detention and has had a hard time navigating violence himself, which his classmate, Jasmir, says is unfortunately all too common. It pulls a lot of my peers into it. Like, no matter how good they're doing at school, how good they're doing at home, how truthful they are, how honest they are, it's just like once. They touch or taste violence. It's just like it spreads out of control. That's why they say this roller skate party and the work that Teen Empowerment does is so much more than the sum of its parts. That's why I'm at Teen Empowerment because I have a voice for my community now. Now that I, I can actually speak up for stuff that I go through, stuff that I'm feeling and stuff, and not just for myself, for other people that need that want to talk and don't have the voice to say it. For Tizier, Alexis, Chasmere, and their classmates, it's a chance to be goofy, skate, chat with their friends, and dance without having to watch their back. We just wanted to get people away from the violence for a moment and just give them time to breathe and be a teenager, be a kid, be what they're supposed to be, not what they think they are. Coordinators for the event said that unlike how it is for a lot of people, violence and gun violence isn't something they see in movies or on the news. It's a daily reality to the point where it affects their grades, affects their basic feelings of safety, and as you heard, their ability to relax and enjoy a party. Adam? All right, a lot of hope in that room. Thank you, Selena. This event is the second in a series of youth-led initiatives, and it involves around 600 to 1,000 city teenagers.